Hello, and thank you for visiting the Health Equity Tracker from the Satcher Health Leadership Institute. This abbreviated demo will provide an overview of the platform with a focus on major design elements, how to navigate the data, and ideas on how to most effectively use the Health Equity Tracker to support the work you do to advance health equity for all. Starting from our homepage, you can scroll down to review featured news and stories, a quick glance of how to use the tracker, and some common questions. Towards the bottom of this page, we offer some ideas on how to get involved. To access the data, you can scroll back to the top of the page and click Explore the Data from the menu page here, or click on the green button titled Explore the Health Equity Tracker. If it's your first time visiting the tracker, you will be greeted by a warm welcome, a hovering text box that calls out major design elements on this page to assist you with navigation. You can click Next to cycle through the elements on the page or press Skip to hide it. Starting at the top of this page, all topics are selected by filling in the blanks of this sentence. In this view, I can select a topic such as diseases, conditions, social or political determinants of health. The second option is to select a region. I can search by typing or scrolling through the list of options. For the purpose of this demo, I'll choose incarceration at the national level. Now that I've made my selections, I'll start to scroll down and review the data available. All information is organized into cards, discrete boxes throughout the page that provide a specific data point or contextual information. The first one we see is a page level alert describing major gaps in the data and how this impacts the data we are able to display. Scrolling down to the map card, I can see incarceration data expressed in terms per 100K rates. Now, some data sets will offer toggles. In this case, I can filter by prison or jail facilities, as well as demographic details, such as race and ethnicity, sex and age. Interacting with the map, I can hover over a state or territory to see the rates for this topic. I can also filter the entire map by demographic group by interacting with this drop-down menu. And finally, I can view the highest and lowest rates for the given criteria by expanding the drop-down section underneath the map. You'll notice only the regions listed here is dynamically updated on the map above. Several of our other data sets are presented in charts or tables. Scrolling down the page will allow you to review each one. Often, you will see a disclaimer or alert within each card for special considerations when assessing the data presented. Sources are listed under each card where you can review the source data in detail or, if available, download the data directly. I'll continue to scroll through the cards, but in the interest of time, I'll stop at the What Data Are Missing section. It's important to consider the impact of unknown and missing data when reviewing the Health Equity Tracker. Our team works with subject matter experts to consider how missing data impacts health equity. On the data page, you can review specifically what is missing and the implications for data in the What Data Are Missing section. For more details, we list all information we have and our process to present the data in our Methodology page, which can be found by clicking Downloads and Methodology from the menu. We invite you to join us in advancing health equity for all by leveraging the power of data and technology to support data-driven decision-making at all levels of policy-making, community advocacy, and research. Please visit our About page to send feedback or to identify potential data sources, topics, or other information to consider adding to the tracker in the future.